just pulled the pad off my board for my video feed. What do we do now? I will show you. Recursion Labs. Most pads on your circuit board have a visible wire trace surrounded by indented valleys. Under this thin layer of skin is the copper trace that connects the pad to its destination. We need to go in. Scalpel! Gently, like you're caressing a kitten fresh out of the womb of its mother. Shave off the outer surface layer, exposing the copper trace. Flux! Apply a liberal amount of flux to the exposed copper so that solder can easily bind to it. Coat your iron tip with solder and gently tap the exposed trace to tin it. Place the tin wire to the trace and tap it for less than half a second with the iron tip to melt it to the trace. There we go. Very gently give the wire a slight pull to ensure it is actually connected to the trace. Using a multimeter, measure the resistance between the top of the new connection and any ground point to ensure it is not shorted. 71.6 ohms of resistance, connected, and definitely not shorted. The new connection will be weaker than before, so apply a liberal amount of hot snot over the new connection and up the wire to adequately secure it. Now for the moment of truth. Did the patient survive the surgery? I set my variable power supply to output a maximum of 16 watts to help prevent smoke if there is a short somewhere. And... Huzzah! We have video. The patient will make a full recovery. Thank you, doctor. My pleasure, miss.